This morning, a fight to keep the trains on track. Washington trying to avoid a potentially catastrophic shutdown of the nation's railroads. A shutdown would have a devastating impact on the economy, upsetting supply chains and creating shortages, driving up the cost of everything from gas to groceries. I don't like going against the ability of, of uh, unions to strike, but weighing the equities, we must avoid a strike. It should, jobs will be lost. In a letter, Speaker Nancy Pelosi prepping the House for two votes today. The first to consider to adopt the tentative agreement which was negotiated by labor leaders and railroad companies. The second to add seven days of paid sick leave for railroaders. Under the Constitution's Commerce Clause, Congress can intervene and prevent a strike. The White House, optimistic. Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. I think it will pass. Republican Senate Leader Mitch McConnell. I think some may be inclined to vote against it, and uh, others are arguing that the, uh, that the economic price uh, doing that is too great. But the move is risky for the president, who has prided himself as a defender of unions. In September, President Biden helped negotiate a deal, but several unions walked away, insisting their concerns over scheduling and paid sick leave were not addressed. Now, eyes are on progressives like Senator Bernie Sanders, and if this second vote on sick leave aligns with what he wanted the Senate to take up. Zero paid sick leave. That is outrageous. And I think it's incumbent upon Congress to do everything that he can to protect these workers. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he's hoping for a quick passage of this. The deadline to avoid a potential railroad strike is next week. Alex Brashe, ABC News, Washington. Thank you.